fields at 12 o'clock. I got field to say. Yep, got it. Straight in, one, two, right. Aircraft type Cessna Centurion P210. Centurion with Roger. When I was sailing, there was a saying, there are two types of sailors, those who have run aground and liars. Well, I don't know if the same is true for lining up with the wrong runway on final, but it does happen. Look, I know it could be confusing, and yes, this does happen. A few months ago, I was coming into Albany, Georgia, and the tower controller asked me if I could cut my base early and land on runway 5. I was in a 210, and there is a lot more going on in that airplane than the Cardinal. I agreed with their request, and I had finished the pre-landing checklist, so I jumped immediately to the final approach checklist. Running the final approach checklist, cutting the turn early, I lined up with the first piece of cement I saw, Taxiway Alpha. Now for a few seconds, my brain said I was lined up with the runway, confirmation bias really. Then something didn't look right. I did a horizontal scan and saw the other piece of cement with the big number five on it, and I gently side slipped it over. This whole event lasted about five to seven seconds, really, and I was still a safe ways out. But the issue is, it happened, and I know I am not the only one. So I got in the habit of doing something I want to share with you. When you start doing more serious flying, you will be flying into larger airports with parallel runways. These airports are busy, so do yourself a favor and use your nav aids like your ILS or your GPS, or even set up the approach as an RNAV from the initial approach fix, even if you are on the visual approach. This will always help you confirm if you are lined up with the correct runway. All right, so we're gonna set up the procedure. Okay. For one, two, right, visual. Visual, one, two, right, activate approach, activate. All right, there we go. And one, two, right is on the heading bug. And let's get that dialed in right. And localizer and glide slope are active, activated. And I've got the plate set up for backing us up on uh, right. the one two right RNAV GPS approach. All right, so we are 12 miles out. Let's now here's where it's confusing. If you looked at ahead, yeah. that is 12 right. That's correct. 12 left is obviously to the left, but look at to the right, that's a taxiway. You have t par parallel taxiways on either side of the runway. Yep. Right, so that could be really confusing because my first glance, just two seconds ago, I started to line up with that taxiway. Yep. And then I just confirmed with my uh, my localizer and I was a little bit off, so. Now, now you're right on. Yep. One thing I practice relentlessly is setting up my GPS and my ILS for all types of approaches to wherever I am going. I practice this because I don't want to be fumbling around with my equipment if I get caught in an emergency, bad weather, or any other circumstance. All right, so right now I'm cleared for a visual approach to runway 10 at Lakeland, and I've got just as uh, just as a backup, I've got the ILS dialed in. That's a really good habit to have, just so you don't get confused. To make sure that you're on the right runway. And also, you could kind of reference back and forth to it just to kind of hone your instrument skills. But also, it will just, it's just one more little guarantee that yes, you are landing on runway 10, which is the correct runway. I want to be prepared and be able to pull up any approach, RNAV or ILS, at any time with fluency and ease. And I usually pull up and review the approach plates for the expected runway before I ever leave the ground, even if it's a sunny VFR day, just to have that in my head. Because as a pilot, I have come to despise the surprise. Confirm runway one, two, right. So I hope you learned something. I hope you like it. And I hope this is encouraging to you. Now, 
One last thing, remember, if you are over 50, you can do this, you can become a pilot, and you can experience the greatest life change ever. So, if you're over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.